in the Embarcadero, just in Urban Plaza. And we're here, uh, no Dakota Access Pipeline protest. Looks like we got a crowd of about 100 so far. And as you can see, we're just getting started. <coughs> Got a little moisture today. Hey, this is Freeman Sullivan. We're reporting from San Francisco. 
at Justin Herman Plaza for the San Francisco No Dakota Access Pipeline protest. Uh, we're here uh, in solidarity with our brothers and sisters in Standing Rock, North Dakota. Glad that you could join us. Hey, what's up, Mr. Orbit? Thanks for watching. See if you uh, any retweets will help. Uh, we're trying to get, uh, we've got a crowd of about 100 people here. Uh, we're going to be taking a tour of banks around the financial district of San Francisco, and I will do my best to try and keep up with the march. Uh, anyway, they're praying over a bucket, as you can see down there, on the ground, right by the blue pole, right in the center of the street. Yeah, don't get your feet all wet there, brother. Yeah, don't get your feet all wet. <laughs> so let's have some more speakers here. They'll be going on a march. Police presence is minimal at this time. I spotted a few officers and a motorcycle cop, but uh, it's been pretty calm. They generally don't come out for these, heavily of these protests. Knowing that in San Francisco, this is a, a very politically popular issue in the Bay Area in general. Uh, tomorrow, uh, if you're keeping up, I'll be live streaming in Berkeley from Sproul Plaza at 12 noon to another uh, No Dakota Access Pipeline protest. So we're waiting for our other speakers here. And I see we have KTVU is out there doing an interview. So we'll give me a little shot of the crowd. On this beautiful day in San Francisco. with 
love and as our relatives. So I want us all to hold each other with kindness today as relatives here in each other and then also everyone that we come across. Um, and so I'll just remember that every moment in our action today is a prayer. Every chant is a prayer. Every time we sing together today, that is a prayer. Every step we take, every word we speak today is a prayer. Um, and when we are filled with love, there is no room for fear. Things at Standing Rock are, are getting bad and they're getting worse, but they're not scared at Standing Rock. People aren't losing their marbles and they're not in fear. They're based in love because that is where our strength comes from. And they recognize that this is what our ancestors have prayed for. And as our indigenous elders here in the Bay Area have reminded us, our elders, our ancestors have been through way worse than we have. They've prayed for us through all of the bad things that they were going through, and we are the ones that we have been waiting for. So thank you everyone for being here today. Woohoo! Oh, I didn't catch your name. Right up next to it though, right? Okay. It's really close. What's your name? Hello everyone, my name is Ayana. Louder! Okay, hello. Is that better? I haven't used one of these before. So my name is Ayana, and I just came back with my dear sister Maya from Standing Rock Sunday, and we are just amazed and in so much gratitude for the people on the front lines that are there. And as you've seen on the news, there is so much going on on a day-to-day -day basis, whether it's conflicts with the police or issues with the snow now and with the supplies and the eviction and what we can continue to hear there is we need the people at home to divest from the banks that are funding the pipeline it is a very simple move for what we can do here in the comforts of our home and our and our and our warmth for the people out there that are just putting themselves through incredible odds to protect the water so we're here today to divest from these banks we're going to pass around sheets that will have the action steps of what we're going to need to do because we're not just divesting withdrawing our money we also need to show others that we are doing this we need to educate others that may not know that this is happening and so through this action that we can do that um, so thank you so much for everyone being here today supporting I don't know more and supporting Standing Rock and um, we're greeted by the water so it's a very beautiful day. Thank you. <clears throat> so how many people here are willing to risk the rest to protect the water and the water protectors? Thank you! There's two people. So, can you make a small circle behind this big circle for an update? All of the people willing to risk arrest, come over here. Make a small circle, and Vanessa and Lauren are going to give you an update. Thank you! showed up. Good morning. Hello, hello. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. All right. Good morning, everyone. My name is Isabella Zizi. I'm Northern Cheyenne and work around Muskogee Creek. I'm one of the youngest members of I Don't Know More SFA. I'm also a youth director for Earth Guardians Bay Area. I want to thank you all for coming here today. And I just want to let you all know what banks that are funded into the Dakota Access Pipeline. So there's Wells Fargo and Citibank that are the top two banks that are directly funding the pipeline. And then there's also um, U.S. Bank, Bank of America, and Chase, which are funded in the back-end oil industry. So if you feel those...
those who want to die fast today, if you feel like going down that line, then you follow Brianna Ruiz to divest from those banks. And I want to remind you that today is the first day of all three actions to, for people to divest from the corporations that are funding the pipeline. And also, if you can't do it these next three days, you have the whole entire month of December. And we're asking people, if you can, to take pictures or to record yourself while you're inside the banks and letting them know why you're divesting. You let them know that, you know, Bank of America or um, Citibank, you guys are funding the pipeline. And you have to be really strong and firm about that. We need to let others know who don't know about what's going on at Standing Rock. Um, I think that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Looks like the crowd's growing a little bigger. Oh, I forgot one more thing. You can also write a letter to the CEOs of each of the banks and you send them your concerns. You tell them to please also divest within this corporation because we do not want to depend on the fossil fuel industry. We want a more sustainable way of life for our future generations. We want to make sure there's no oil spills. We want to make sure that there's no fracking. There's no explosions. There's no oil by train. We're looking for a sustained way to live. So again, walk in, walk with that intention. Walk with prayer. Walk with peace. Walk with love. Love is the most powerful weapon we have. So let's use that love today as much as we can. <laughs> Thank you. And this is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan, reporting from San Francisco at the Embarcadero, Justin Herman Plaza, for the No Dakota Access Pipeline protest. Uh, please stay with me. Uh, if the stream goes down, I will say this is Freeman Sullivan signing off when I do sign off. So hang tough. And if I do go down, uh, make sure you reload the screen. So we should have some more speakers here. And there's also a flyer that's going to be passed out, I think.
Everybody's all asleep this morning, they don't have it together. But they'll get it together here. We're going to be going on a tour of several banks. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Wells Fargo. Uh, Citigroup is another big heavy investor in the North Dakota pipeline, as well as Bank of America. It's, you know, it's always the usual suspects with these banks. You know, please take your money out of the bank, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, uh, and Citigroup, and any major bank at all. I mean, most people still haven't learned their lessons from Occupy Wall Street. Uh, the banks are, you know, pretty much in control of what goes on here in uh, capitalist society. I mean, uh, so uh, always think about that first. I know it might not be a big deal to a lot of people, but uh, you know, you're investing your money in something that's destroying the earth. So it's always a good consideration. Let's try this. this morning. I should have brought my umbrella. I was looking at it when I left the house. Come on. Money out. And drink oil. Take your money out. Money. Don't Take your money out. Drink oil. Take your money out. No money. Take your money out. You can't drink oil. Take your money out.
the pipeline. We are here for the water. We are here for the children. We are here to ask you to the best of the pipeline. We are here for the water. We are here for the children. We are here to ask you to the best of the pipeline. We are here for the Take it off in a group. Uh, <laughs> I want one of those little signs with the buffalo on it. That looks pretty cool. I don't know if you can see it from here. How's everybody doing this morning? This is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan, down here at the Embarcadero, just in Herman Plaza, or in the No Dakota Access Pipeline protest. Glad you could join us. We're talking about No Dakota Access Pipeline. Today we got about 100, maybe 150 people, maybe. We'll be leaving in about 10 or 15 minutes. Anybody got any questions? You know, it'd also be a good idea to contact the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and give them a call. I don't have the number handy.
Oh, you dropped your phone. It'll be a surprise. I think I'm gonna try to get another one risking arrest. Who wants to come? Okay. So that's just come this way. I don't think anybody's gonna no, no, try. Not yet. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's perfect. Yeah, perfect. Thank you for that. Where should we go? We're gonna stay right here because we are all going to be enfolded today in a big prayer. As Brianna said, every step we take today is within the prayer that we're making this morning. And the prayer that we're making this morning is attached and related to the prayer that was made over a hundred years ago at Standing Rock. We are living in a time of powerful prophecy. many days is enfolded into prophecies by indigenous people that are over a hundred years old. You are here for a reason. You were born for a reason. You were born to protect this sacred system of life with love and with the power coming up through your feet from Mother Earth and the blessings from Father Sky, the sun, and the stars. All of the intelligent forces of nature are with us. They're with us today. They're with us in the days to come. They are weaving together the prayers from people all around the world that are shining and creating a dome of love and protection and power and strength over Standing Rock and over all of the other water protectors and land defenders who are risking their lives and some who have been murdered around the world. But those are the sacrifices that people are choosing to make. Because what is our individual life if there are none to come? If there are no lives to come that can drink clean water, drink clean air, and eat clean food coming from clean soil. We are all so blessed. We are all so fortunate to be born in this powerful time. What a blessing that we get to be together. It's, it's amazing. Can you feel it? I didn't drink any water this morning be a long day and I don't want to have to find a bathroom and my lips are sticking <laughs> to my teeth. <laughs> my
it to our relatives at the camps in North Dakota. We send our gratitude to you for being there still in the midst of a snowstorm, for standing strong for the water and for future generations that need to drink that water. We pray that you have everything that you need in this endeavor. We are so grateful to you. And that's why we're here today. We pray that all the waters are protected. We pray for our beautiful Delta that is also under threat. We pray for those who would destroy our Delta. We pray that they wake up with an understanding that truly water is life and we cannot live without it. And that it must be protected and it must be made safe, and all of the beings that inhabit it must also be protected and made safe in perpetuity so that their future generations may thrive and sustain that system of life that feeds into the bay, that feeds into the ocean, that provides food for the orcas around the Farallons. We pray for the salmon in our bay and in our delta. We pray for the dismantling of the dams that are harming that system. We pray for all of the police officers and army people and all of the staff of security who are committing atrocities against our relatives. that you have a job to do, but that job at this point has turned around against itself and turned some of you into people that are hard to look at, that are hard to be around. And we pray for those who gain satisfaction and joy from harming our relatives. We understand that you are damaged. We understand that something has hurt you profoundly or that you've been made to do horrendous things. So we pray for your healing. We pray for the healing of your being, of your heart, of your mind. That you again join the human family in a good way. In a way that doesn't allow you to cause this harm, right there, yeah. atrocities, such violations of human rights. We pray for your families, that they're able to support you in a transition towards wholeness. We pray for those who are considering leaving their job that are causing such harms and atrocities. We pray that as you leave, you have support and love surrounding you in your correct movement out of a system that is broken. We send our prayers to Governor Dalrymple and to all of the elected officials that are stuck in the thought forms of colonization, capitalization, and greed. We welcome you back into our human family. We will help you heal. We understand that you too have been in a system that has supported you in doing horrible things. And we invite you to leave that system and regain your place within the sacred system of life. of everyone walking with us today. We pray for our voices to be soft and strong and penetrating. We thank the San Francisco police officers for meeting us here today and for telling us that they'll help us as much as possible. We ask a blessing for them and their families with us. We pray for the Army Corps of Engineer leaders, that they 
do the right thing, that they withdraw all the permits, that they never allow a permit to go under Lake Oahe. We pray for all the veterans on their way to Standing Rock. We send our gratitude to them. We pray for all the children in the camps, that they have everything they need and that they're surrounded by ongoing love. We thank all of the people around the world who have offered and provided supplies and money and love. Thank you for hearing this prayer. All my relations, thank you. Solid moment here. We'll be leaving on the march here in a few minutes. Looks like the crowd has grown a wee bit, and we might be up to about 200 people. Hey, let me know how the uh, audio visual looks. two distinct protests. There's a smaller one that's going to go on a secret route. And, uh, you know, as a journalist, I'm very curious as to what the secret route is, but um, I know that uh, my viewers would rather see us uh, be protests where people are getting arrested. Let me know how you think, uh, what you think, uh, which protest would you rather have me go to, the, the smaller secret one or the larger protest where people are going to be arrested. Oh, thank you. <laughs> There's a little confusion this morning. So uh, at this point, we only have three police officers that are going to be following us around. And uh, water is light. So yeah, it'd be a good idea to drop your bank account if you have an account with Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Citicorp. Uh, they're heavy investors in the North Dakota Access Pipeline. Uh, get into a credit union if you can. But those are the three major banks. You know, while you're at it, if you got money in any of the larger institutions, uh, I would probably take my money out of those too, because you know somewhere there's an investment. Bad investment to be made.
So this is the smaller secret one, which I won't be going on. As you know, I am disabled, it's hard, mobility challenged. So I try to take the routes that are a little easier for me. And this is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan, reporting from San Francisco. And we're here at Justin Herman Plaza in the Embarcadero, uh, getting ready to march against the North Dakota Access Pipeline. And uh, we'll be hitting a few banks along the way uh, to show our displeasure at their investments, uh, which are poisoning the water in North Dakota. And all and that water, which is the headwaters of the Missouri Miss, Miss, Mississippi Missouri River, the largest river in the United States. So just imagine all that water that's polluted. If even one pipeline burst, and pipelines burst all the time, so it's not an unusual occurrence. Okay, I see we have a motorcycle escort over there of about, we got six motorcycle cops. This might be a good time to take a sip of coffee. So yeah, as soon as they said the march was going to split up, the cops kind of like, they got a little weird. Still getting things organized at this point. I'm more interested in what the cops are doing over here. So, looks like five cops, six. To be our escort today, and I'm sure to protect us from, to protect the bank. They really aren't protecting us. Come on, let's get real. You know they say they are. You know that's a big load. Trying to snap off a picture here, excuse me. Dang it.
Hopefully the rain stopped. So this is one of the marches that's going to be going around. It's uh, The uh, route hasn't been disclosed, but it will be going around to branches here in the San Francisco Financial District. So those of you who are watching, let me know how the audiovisual is. As we sometimes have issues here, in this, the tech hub of the world has really crappy internet and really crappy 4G service. Imagine that. So yeah, the other one looks a little, twice, two to three times its size. This will be a little small one. That's a chilly morning for what, what passes for cold in the Bay Area. About 50 degrees, light drizzle. But we're glad to be here. We're out here uh, supporting the North Dakota water protectors. Uh, to show solidarity with Standing Rock, if you're not really sure about what's going on. Uh, they're trying to build a pipeline to take fracked oil from North Dakota and ship it to, uh, I believe it's going to end up in, in Texas, by a company called Energy Transfer Partners, which is the company that's building the pipeline. And the uh, CEO has already said that he could care less about what a group of I guess he called them, well, he was some derogatory term. Anyway, this is the first march that's leaving. And there's going to be two. <coughs> there's a second. Few more people. Now this is a larger march that's getting ready to leave. And I'm just taking a breather here. So glad you're watching. Uh, tomorrow I will be broadcasting again. Uh, this time for Berkeley, uh, we're going to be at Sproul Plaza covering the. Uh, another North Dakota Access Pipeline protest and that'll be at 12 noon West Coast time so do join us let your friends know it's Freeman Sullivan if you like more information just Google Freeman Sullivan one word and my information will come up I don't bother with business cards or websites or any of that stuff anymore just the live streams Anyway, much love and much respect. We're here in San Francisco. Uh, other notes, um, I'm planning on taking a trip to D.C. to be there for the anti-Trump demonstrations at the inauguration. So I'm going to get an account set up so you guys can donate. I haven't really accepted money before, but uh, I can always use a try to buy a new camera, a new phone, uh, so we can get high depth pictures going. So that would always help. Uh, I'd probably do that tomorrow or the next day. Yeah, hey. I've been planning on that for a couple of months now. Anyway, we got about a crowd of about 100 people uh, getting ready to leave. We're going to hit several uh, branch banks here in San Francisco's financial district on a short march. Then log on to chat and let me know how. Audio visual is we much appreciated.
I'm not feeling the energy of this protest. It's a lot of quiet, you know, maybe it's the, the intent. But, uh, you know, I'm always hoping we're more militant. I'm the guy, I'm the guy that wants to see the burning barricades. So, it ain't gonna happen today. <laughs> But there will be arrests and some civil disobedience going on. Some people have uh, volunteered for civil disobedience. Glad the rain stopped. There were big wussies here in the Bay Area about rain. And I figured they're going to go in the opposite direction. I'm headed. Over there, Come on, we're gonna yeah, okay, I'll, I'll catch it. We'll be okay. Alrighty. Oh, I'm okay. I've been doing this a long time. Oh, it's okay, don't worry about it. Oh, now they're selling our Occupy, huh? Now we're moving down Market Street. Oh, we got the tax squad out here too, folks. Our motorcycle escort. Pardon me, hon. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Excuse me. Pardon me. Thank you. Oh, sorry.
is closed for business, which they tend to do from time to time. During protests. Right now we're at Bank of America, uh, which is closed when some people try to close their bank account, naturally. I wonder if Bank of America has, I wonder if they're signing up people against their wishes either. We know that's what happened to Wells Fargo, which will probably is going to be our next location. Those of us uh, just joining us, we're here in downtown San Francisco uh, protesting the North Dakota Access Pipeline. And we've just made our first stop at Bank of America, which is closed. Uh, two people tried to close their accounts, and Bank of America closed down. So, yes, we are asking that if you have an account at Bank of America, Wells Fargo or Citigroup that you close your account with them and maybe move over to a credit union. Also, uh, I don't have the number handy, but call up Energy Transfer Partners in Houston, Texas and let them know how you feel about their investment in the North Dakota Access Pipeline. Because that is the main company that uh, borrowed all the money to put this together.
So these are people that are willing to risk arrest. That's the Bank of America. folks we knew that time was coming the batteries are getting low I'm gonna to have to change the battery out so if you'll give me a minute I will be right back up and up again <laughs> 